Hi, Fire Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader, and I'm here today to give you guys your bonus readings for all the fire signs out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get into it here. We're going to first start off for the sign of Leo. Ooh, things are changing. Movement here. Communication coming in could be dealing with an air sign energy, but you have the death card, the page of swords, and the chariot. I just heard they have a lot of explaining to do. They did take their time. They closed it here. Things came to an end for quite some time, but they are returning is what that tells me. They are behind behind this energy. They want this movement, so they are thinking with that sword of communicating with that page. Uh, but definitely changes are coming about here, Leo. I do feel definitely air sign energy as well. You also have four major arcanas when they do that and they bring that to my attention. Four is offering the cup of love here. Uh, definitely taking that next step. You could be dealing with the twin flame here as well. But there is definite changes coming on in where something came to a close for quite some time. Meaning you have not heard from them in quite some time. I do feel for some out there, not all, it's been a few years, actually, somebody's returning from your past year, Leo, to communicate, say hey. So that is what I have for Leo. Moving on to Aries. Uh-oh, somebody made a huge boo-boo. Could be dealing, oh yeah, oh yeah, they are stubborn. Could be dealing with a Leo here. Uh, you do have the strength card. Uh, but, you know, I feel that, you know, they didn't have the encouragement. They didn't have the, well, let's just say it, the kahugas, okay? They know that they messed up. They have to have that inner strength here to man up, okay, or woman up, whichever. Uh, but definitely having that inner strength to correct the situation. Yeah, they were frustrated. They didn't want to admit that they were wrong here as well. This is quite interesting energy. The hand of the devil, it's like, nope. That's complete stubbornness. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fix things. Because they were having a fit. I don't know how else to put that. Uh, the frustration here, I'm not even going to admit this. I'm not going to look at this situation. Sure. Yeah. Uh, don't make my Libra come out on you. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Double whammy here. Frustrated. But... They make me add, subtract here in regards to two matching elements right next to each other, the seven minus the nine. They're going to show the action. They're going to crumble. The cookie crumbled, I heard. So they're getting past this stagnation of the, or not the stagnation, the uh, the mental anguish, the stubbornness of it all. And they're going to have that encouragement to come back, fix it. Okay, because they know that they hurt you and they can't live like that, you know. Uh, but definitely it's kind of like, well, I'm not. It's kind of like them trying to stay in control over the situation by denying what you want here. Uh, yeah, uh, but definitely I feel that they're going to get past that, you know, kind of grow, mature over the situation, I feel. And just basically speak from the heart to fix it. They regret it. So, uh, but moving on to Sag. Interesting energy. Very interesting. Star. Aquarius energy. Hmm. Clarify that. And that's very interesting energy. I'm feeling that this is you guys showing up as the king of wands here. Now you are fire. You could be dealing with another fire sign as well. But I feel that somebody did you wrong. You got the seven of swords here. That's kind of deceit. Okay. Now I feel that there's forgiveness definitely with the star here. Uh, it could be with a third party as well that uh, somebody was involved with in your life here. Star is getting your wish fulfillment, but in this case with that Seven of Swords, clarified by the Five of Wands and the Eight of Wands, it's a Three of Wands. So 
definitely they're making me subtract. Uh, but definitely I feel that, you know, I feel that there's forgiveness. I feel that you forgive this person. It took some time, absolutely, with the Knight of Cups here. But definitely willing to give this a try, you know. Now, I don't see them coming back just yet or, you know, you reaching out. But I feel that this is more of an acceptance that what they did now does not have to be a third party. But I do feel that there's movement away from the mental anguish of whatever they did. Now, two different scenarios. If you're dealing with the third party, Sag, I do feel that you're learning to accept, to heal, uh, to... Um, it's tough to forgive somebody. It really is. You know, it's been a long time. You're you're growing. You're learning from this experience, you know, and you're learning to release and just basically forgive. Now, in regards to a third party, that could be with somebody that basically was deceitful, cheated on you kind of thing with the third party, as well as just kind of angry, uh, rightfully so, you know, for all the uh, frustration and the mental anguish and the crying and the tears and just a lot of weeping here. You're releasing that and forgiving them. Do I see communication coming in? No, this is a learning process. This is a learning uh, pull here, okay, of cards. So that in a class all by itself is known as congratulations because that is really tough to do, okay, to forgive somebody definitely for their uh, either actions or lack of actions uh, in both scenarios here. But keep working on that, okay? Keep releasing that definitely. You're going to improve your life and improve the situation as well by releasing that negative energy. I get it. Been there, done that myself. So hang in there, Sag. All right. And that is what I have for not just Sagittarius, but for all the fire signs out there. You guys rock. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.